Yeah, I mean, we knew that today was going to be really tough. UNF has a very good team. I don't care if they were the four seed. Uh, the South division was extremely tough, and I, I don't think that UNF uh, played to their potential in the regular season. And and you know, for that reason, I mean, they they kind of ended up being the being the four seed. But with our rivalry and how talented their team is, I I knew today was going to be just like this. So I'm really proud of my guys for, for being tough today. With postseason scoring, you know, for that being that magic number, when you look up and you're kind of down in that 3 nothing spot, was there anything you said to the guys or anything that they, they talked about? Well, I mean, I, I hope that we always try to be a team that plays to our identity regardless of what the score is. So whether we're down 3-0 or up 3-0, that shouldn't, that shouldn't have an impact on how we compete. Um, but sometimes it's, it's nice to see when the guys have their backs up against the wall that, that it kind of brings out the best in them um, because that's, that's really difficult to do. Um, I believe that we train a certain way to, to increase our chances of that happening, but, um, but I mean, coming from 3-0 down when we literally could have lost all four of those matches and instead of l losing, we win all four of those matches really is a testament to the character of the guys. Really, court one was a battle all day in doubles and, and singles. Uh, just focusing on Magnus, what can you say about his performance in that third set? Magnus is is probably the the most mature professional freshman I've ever had on on a team. He's a world star, just just amazing young man. He's comes from an incredible family uh, that, that lives in Naples, so it's great to have some good local support. He's a 4.0 student. He just does everything the right way. Um, and he commits so much to his tennis. He's almost always the last one on the practice court. Uh, so a lot of times the last one on the, on the match court as well. But, um, but I mean, I, I'm a huge believer in that kid. He has massive goals for his tennis and a lot of room for growth also. He's a, he's a heck of a player right now, but, but uh, if, he, if he can free himself up, uh, to, to kind of trust a little bit more of an aggressive kind of game. I mean, he's, he has a lot of room for improvement, and I'm just I'm really proud of him to be able to come through in a moment like that. I, I can't say I'd be able to do it myself, so that was, that was pretty awesome. And then lastly, great crowd on hand tonight. Good to have that, that home court advantage when you're in a situation like today. How much was some of that positive energy, uh, or how much did that impact things that, that were happening? It makes a world of difference. I mean, I always credit our fans to a lot of our success. Um, a lot of times as a fan, you, don't, you, you might not realize how much of a boost that gives you and kind of how much confidence that gives you when, when you win a big point or a big game and you hear this roar come, come up and rather than it just being a normal game, it's like, whoa, okay, like I did something special and, and it kind of gives you that much more confidence and, and I mean, Gosh sakes, for that match being as long as it did, and for, I mean, I don't know how many people we had here at the end of the match, but, uh, you know, probably, probably a good, I don't know, 150, 200 people out at the, out at the end of a three and a half, four hour long match, whatever time it is. I mean, I've just, uh, I'm just blown away and very grateful that we live in, in this community that supports us. I hope we always have a fun product to watch, uh, to give back to them. Um, I want to I want to talk about um, just Montes and and Pipe out on the court. I mean, Pipe has had a really really tough year. He's battled a lot of injuries, and um, you know moved down to number four in the, in the lineup. And and you know he's played one and two the majority of his career, and and that's not easy. I mean, kind of moving down in the lineup creates an extra set of pressure because he's used to winning matches on one and two thinking like, well, shoot, I should for sure win a number four. So that's an extra little mental battle. But uh, but kind of his body and, and his circumstances brought him to that moment. But I'm really proud of him today. I thought he played with good energy and good commitment to win. So that was a world class victory from him on his last match here at the Nest for Pipe. So super proud of him. Montes finished competing like a champion. A uh, true leader on the court, led this team all year long with our energy, and and Guglielmo. I mean, what a year that kid has had. I mean, he's lost one match in conference, 
He's improved so much, improved a lot last year, improved a lot this year, was somebody where honestly, when he came in here, he was like, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but he was just a little scared on the court. And now he plays like that when it matters the most. And so just really, really proud of him, proud of the whole team. So world-class uh, world performance today. Uh, well, uh, first of all, uh, hats off to UNF because they play very well. Uh, but we had uh, only one thing clear, and it was just to be tougher than the other team. That's what the coach CJ said. Um, I felt fine. Uh, I've been struggling with a lot of injuries this year, but um, at the beginning of the match, it was a little tough to get in the rhythm, but I started playing very good, very consistent, and uh, you know I get to have the, the W today. Oh, just being the first one to come back, so you were down 3-0, and then you get that first set and kind of give the momentum to everybody. Can you talk about that as well? Uh, well, that's very good. The momentum is very important to keep it. Uh, I started the momentum, but the harder thing is the, for everybody to keep it, and the guys did an extremely good job on that. And uh, we're just very happy to, to advance to the semifinals. Can you talk about playing you? This is officially your last home match. Uh, what did that feel like playing under these lights with the, with the crowd that you had as well? I mean, the crowd was amazing. Of course, it's uh, super nostalgic, but uh, I am very happy to leave the FGCU courts because it's been uh, already five seasons. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, very nostalgic, but I'm very happy and very excited for, for myself and also for the team because we got a very good W today. We were very tough. Anything else about your performance <coughs> and kind of just your fight? I think I, I need to still improve a lot my game, but I believe I, we, we still have time until the last few matches in conference. And um, I know that we're, me and the guys will get better and that we're going to keep working on those things and it's still be tougher. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to, hard to express. I mean, it was so much fun getting the energy from everyone here and, and my whole team, especially when Goog won. You know, it had all, everyone was watching this court and just to get the support from my team and coaches and everything it was incredible. I, I can't, it's hard to describe Let's this go. feeling. Let's so go, good. Baby. <laughs> so good. No, but it's awesome. And then, and then your team. Um, coming from a three deficit and just all of you guys fighting back, that momentum that you guys created for yourselves. Can you kind of talk about that as well? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it is just trusting each other. You know, we, we know that we're all just going to fight as hard as we can for each other. And coach, you know, that was one of the big things he talked about before the match is just, you know, to fight as hard as we can out there. And even if things aren't going well, just give it all you have and, and leave it out here and, and whatever happens, happens. And, you know, luckily tonight we were we were able to come out with the win, but just a fun experience that I'll never forget. <laughs> and not to be redundant, but a freshman clinching the spot, so clinching the spot in the ASUN final for the team. I mean, you're the one court, you have all of this, like not pressure, but kind of on you. Can you just talk about having that role so young on the team? Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, I've gotten a lot of good leadership from the seniors and the, the other guys. And, you know, I, I mean, just the trust from them, I feel that I have it, you know, it takes some of that pressure off. And but yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely a lot of pressure. And I'm happy when I can come through, especially for those guys. And then lastly, just the crowd that you had today. Um, your family's able to be here, obviously. Yep. Um, can you just talk about what they add to that, that moment for you? I mean, it, it's like I say, it's tough to describe. It's just so much fun when you have, you know, so many people pulling for you. And every point that you win, you can just feel the energy keep rising. And, you know, I always love being so close to home that my family can come watch. It's really special. And, you know, so just a great night, basically, <laughs> if I can sum it up like that.